But what what do you think was the was the turning point here? I mean, you mentioned Gage. Uh, uh, I mean, Gross Grosskreutz. Grosskreutz, yep. Um, you know, he he was the 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 individual that was shot but wounded, um, and actually testified. Um, there's some feeling that some of his testimony actually helped. Uh, the written house uh, self defense because he said you he think? never raised his gun to him until uh, this individual went to try to 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 take it away from him, which is certainly not unreasonable when the, the person already shot uh, somebody. Um, Who is but this that boob? testimony uh, was uh, appears to be particularly crucial. This is the former president of the New York Bar. Okay, what a what a I. I this guy is presumably an attorney, and he sounds like the biggest bozo. It's like he didn't watch the trial. He has no idea what the hell happened at the trial. And he, he can't formulate a question. He doesn't seem to understand any of the, the flaws in, in glaring flaws in Binger's legal approach and legal mm -hmm. un or understanding of the law. I just don't understand. I'm trying. What is this individual's name? I want to look him up. Do you know uh, his name? David Miranda? Do you know how to spell Miranda? I think it's like Miranda rights. <laughs> oh, Miranda, like Miranda rights? Yeah. yeah. Are you trying to say that this individual, David Miranda, did not achieve to become the president of the New York Bar Association based on his merits as a lawyer? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm just trying to figure out if he actually is a lawyer. I see a David Miranda is a politician. He, are you saying he's a lino? He's a lawyer? In no, that's in, that's in Brazil. That's in Brazil. It's different, David Miranda. I'm trying to figure this guy. I'm just trying to figure out who the hell he is. As to showing the mindset of of Rittenhouse, what what was what was your thought on on putting this individual on the stand, and and how his testimony impacted the case? Honestly, I considered not even calling him at all. Uh, in fact, I talked to him and his attorneys uh, before the trial, and I told them I was on the fence as to whether or not to put him on the stand because who, who are we talking about? Grosskreutz or yeah, Grosskreutz. But was I was concerned. I found um. I found a little write up on David Miranda. If you want to send it to you. He contemplated not putting gross groots on the stand. Yeah. Well, I mean, I he's, he's he asking if his testimony was so terrible that. Uh, I wonder if he regretted putting gross groots on the stand. I sent you on, on uh, Twitter, DM, Joe. Thanks. He's got Thank like you, a little brother. write up. Okay. He's a copyright, well, an intellectual property lawyer. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's a copyright attorney and he's commenting on this case here. This is the interviewer, yeah. <laughs> well, he's always, obviously a big fat lefty, right? But yeah. He's obviously it's a moron, but that's beyond <laughs> the point. I just I don't understand. He's he's like he's for intellectual property rights. <laughs> What's going on? I didn't even think of that's hilarious. What's going on here? <laughs> Listen, What's... your your intellectual property rights are valuable, but not your actual property property rights. Okay. I know. That's crazy. That's funny. <laughs> well, if Kyle Rittenhouse would have shot anyone over their screenplay, then all this, there you go. Then we're having a conversation. If Rosenbaum was wearing an unlicensed Mickey Mouse t shirt, it would have been okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good. Um, and, you know, I think. <laughs> We, we were handed uh, a situation here where we didn't have uh, the most sympathetic victims in the world. And, you know, I, I think Gage Grosskreutz has got a lot of positive qualities. You know, he's trained as a medic. He's out there trying to help people. Um, I, I've met with him several times. I, I like him personally. Um, but there are some things in his testimony that I knew were going to were going to come back to hurt us. You know, he, this is this is so insane, too, because. Gage Grosskreutz, you could say the same exact things about Kyle Rittenhouse. He was training to be a medic. He was a volunteer firefighter. He was a lifeguard. It's like, why do you, why do you see those things in Gage Grosskreutz? And it's you know all hearts and unicorns. And you see those same things in Kyle Rittenhouse. And oh, he's just fucking lying. He's this is all make believe. Mm -hmm. Even it's sadder kind of, than that, it's it kind of just as a. It's so such a, a lack of awareness as a litigator. This is he's exposing himself here as as being a poor litigator, irrespective of the way he conducted himself in his trial. Because Gage Grosskreutz, as a witness, was terrible, totally Just terrible. He was he looks so fake. Where every time he's asked a question, so he's like sort of looking this direction. And it's like 
He said, <laughs> okay, try to look towards the jury. So he overplayed it to a ham actor type of level. Huge. Where it's like, he's like, so how did you, how did you feel in that moment where he was holding the gun at you? I thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's Every so answer. true. Every it's answer. so true. So it's a tr- even on cross examination. So <laughs> is it true that Kyle didn't shoot you until you actually turned the gun on him? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He turned. He turned to the jury on the correct Every time. Yeah, every time he's just turning towards the jury, like you know, it's like it was creepy. It was weird. It was and creepy. It was so it was so funny that, and he and you knew that the whole time in his head he was sort of like thinking to himself, like, "Oh, I've, I'm nailing this. I'm nailing this. You're going down, Kyle. You're going down, and it's Gage Grosskreutz taking you down. I'm Gage mm-hmm. Grosskreutz." <laughs> no, that's exactly right. right. Uh, so bad and, Listen, and he is, thinks oh yeah great he's a great witness he's a great witness i'm very believable much more so guy. than Gra- than grambo much more believable than fat the photo chat right right yeah. right good luck with that he's any but he's calling him a great guy too you know yeah great guy medic great guy. suing the DUIs. city for 10 million dollars <laughs> yeah dui <laughs> Robberies, Listen, great he's guy. A, he's Good just a knucklehead, okay? He's some Antifa <laughs> knucklehead, all right? Come on. Who among us hasn't, uh, you know, joined an Antifa group and had a DUI? Okay, he's who among a, us? Had? Just a knucklehead. Just a, a simple knucklehead. He's involved boys in will a be boys. civil okay. lawsuit against the city. He's associated with some protest group out there that has a particularly you know, a name that just doesn't uh, doesn't resonate well with our community, uh, People's Revolution or something like that. It sounds like you know, sounds Chairman Mao, and uh, it's just not uh, not a good look. Um, <laughs> so good look. Uh, there was some. At least he's willing to admit that you know being yeah. a member of the Communist Party is not a good look. I mean, yeah. I think that's <laughs> it's not it's not something that Americans are really grabbing onto yet. So. Imagine uh, being in Wisconsin and being a member of the Communist Party. Uh, I've heard this thing about flyover states, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wisconsin Communist Party? What's going on in Wisconsin? Some of that, but I felt in the end the jury needed to hear from from the victim. He, you know, he's a victim on a, on a criminal count. We've got to we've got to present his testimony. They need to hear from him, and that was kind of my attitude throughout. I mean, it's true if he. There's like considering Kyle's going to testify, Gage has to testify, right? Like if the victim's not going to testify, but the the supposed mur- you know murderer or assaulter is going to testify, that would make them look really bad. Yeah, he kept sticking to that that Kyle racked his gun thing, which was a misperception mm-hmm. on his part. I mean, right? That didn't happen. Yeah. So, but a lot of these witnesses, is I was trying to put all my cards on the table. I'm not hiding anything. I want every the jury to hear everything, good and bad. Um, and ultimately, it comes down to those those facts of, of killing an unarmed person. But to your point about Grosskreutz, you know, I kind of I, I got a, a sad chuckle, I guess, out of the, the defense argument that anybody who's got a gun uh, deserves to be killed. Uh, your guy had a gun all night long. Well, well no, anybody, who's anybody who turns a gun, a gun deserves to be killed. Yeah, he's talking. Up, he's talking shit again. Uh, well, your guy pointed a gun at everybody that night. You know, no, he just, didn't. Uh, no, he yeah. didn't. I don't think the defense made this argument. I don't think they said, "Well, Gage had a gun, so he deserved to die." I mean, that sounds like the argument you were making ten seconds ago, Banger, about the mob. But why didn't they put yellow pants on the stage, Joe? On the stand, Joe? Well, here's a question: If good question. under Binger's know. logic, if Gage shoots and kills Kyle or in the house, okay. And then Gage is running with his gun. Could the other people that were defending the property with <laughs> Kyle, they're like, this guy's an active shooter. He's coming to shoot us. And then oh they just gun God. him down. Like, where does this head? Never ending cycle. Yes. It's like active shooter dominoes, basically. Right. Everyone just sees everyone. And they would have a else. greater self defense right than Gross Kreutz has. And whoever's the greater right then all of a sudden now there trumps and has the ability to there kill to kill the others. It's like Highlander. One ultimately <laughs> rules the world. Yeah, this is not a good direction to go in, guys. <laughs> Binger, I don't know what you're doing. Stop doing podcasts. No, keep doing podcasts. I'm doing another one. Do Ricada's podcast for us. Sometimes I wonder how much thought they put into these arguments. Like, do you see? But he didn't make. They didn't make these... this argument, by the way, either. They never made this argument. 
Listen, I mean, mm. you know, Banger's correct. They put no thought into the straw man argument they didn't make. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Why would they, right? It's not their <laughs> argument. Do you see the contradiction here? Do you see the hypocrisy? Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Binger used the H word. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. The hypocrisy word. After 43 minutes of hypocrisy, <laughs> <laughs> Banger is going to say, no, you, you're the hypocrite. Yeah. Um, and there's a, clearly a set of, of rules and standards that apply to the defendant that uh, no one else gets to claim self-defense. No one else gets to arm themselves. No one else gets to point a gun. No one else gets to even grab a chain or use their boots or use a skateboard. You know, all these are scary, scary people. I the hate this around. man. I, I hate know. him. It's, it's torture. It is. Like, uh, doesn't the duty to retreat cover uh, all of this stuff? There is not even a duty retreat in Wisconsin. I hate this man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but, but, I hate him. He's just lying. Like literally he's listen, still lying. He lost the trial and he's still lying it, about yep, what happened, yep. what evidence was was produced at trial. It's astonishing. You 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 don't have a duty to retreat. You can stand your ground. But you don't have the right to chase after someone and apprehend them, right? I mean, that's the difference here. Oh like how, how do these people have the right to chase him down? That's what they I'm do, asking. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, yeah. Even the cops don't have the right to do that. Yeah, chase them down and try to kill them. Yeah, yeah, right. But listen, they were just using their feet. Okay, no one's ever died by getting kicked in the I head. Know. Right. right. Remember no one's ever died right? by getting hit in the back of the head with a blunt object. This is right. no Never one's ever happens. had their gun taken from them and shot. You know, by a mob of people. Remember Grossgroot's on the stand, like. Chase, no, no, nah, I wasn't chasing him. We were both yeah, running, running in the, in the same, same direction. direction. Yeah, it's like, them. what was that all with about? What was that all about? Why was he avoiding the word chase so badly? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Because he's gauge cross goods. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think his attorney told him, hey, you might have some problems if you're the one. If you if you're the one fucking <laughs> assaulting him. Do not say that you were chasing him. Whatever yeah. you do, just well, say you were just running in a similar vector of direction that he was. <laughs> similar velocity. I wasn't. Ch I wasn't chasing. I was traveling. Okay. <laughs> oh Assault rifle uh, is is privileged and and an angel, and uh, and none of these uh, standards apply to him. So uh, that's unfortunate. But uh, like I said, I think you're unfortunate. Uh, what what what? I mean, what standards of behavior are we asking? to apply to Kyle Rittenhouse that we're not asking to apply to everyone. I like, I don't even That's understand the question. argument that he's making. That's a good here. question. Yeah. He's, he's coming out and he's basically saying, know. you know, the rules don't apply to Kyle Rittenhouse. What fucking rules was Kyle Rittenhouse breaking that everyone else that, that were well, sp special to him that he, he was breaking the worst of rules. Okay. Mm -hmm. He was Open on the other caring. team. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. He had the bar, he had the wrong politics. I Supposedly. don't, you know, he that yeah. rule he's not even really breaking. I mean, in all honesty, he's not even really on the other team. Well, I, I thought he was pro Trump or something. Y like, like he went to a Trump rally. I don't I know. Did, you would think Binger sense. would be. You think Binger, who works with the police to get people thrown in jail, would be pro police? You would think, but I don't know. Maybe he's not. not. Yeah. Not. I bet he. I bet he does have a contentious relationship with the police especially when After they're this. catching all these bad guys and bingers like letting them all go they probably hate <laughs> bingers guts they probably do they probably do the guy who arrested gage grossgroots like three times we don't know. is like listen we don't know if bingers letting anyone go he could he could be just this corrupt and zealous for anyone he's trying to prosecute oh who my knows? god you you uh, i don't know you he hope that all around you hope that the cops are more ethical than this prosecutor right here. You hope? Yeah. You hope. Oh, Gross Croy, we the jury had to hear from him. If they hadn't, it would have, it would have left questions in their mind that I couldn't afford to leave. And uh, I wanted them to hear from a victim. And I think one of the strongest and most poignant parts of his testimony was him explaining that, you know, he's standing over someone that he knows has just killed people. Grosskreutz has his own gun in his own hand and in my mind is legally justified in pointing it and killing this person. And he says, I'm not the kind of person that could take a life. <laughs> Motherfucker. Motherfucker. 
He believes that nonsense? No, <laughs> no he's just slow. He's yeah, just slow. no shit. He lost a quick draw when right. he had a gun trained on a guy, and the other guy didn't have a gun on him. He lost that quick draw. He he's lost a quick slow. draw, and he and the fucking loser walks away, and it's like, I couldn't take a life anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, well, right. And, and also, to... speaking of hypocrites, Kyle said something similar where when he's been cross-examined, he said something like, you know, I didn't want to kill anyone, yada, yada, yada. And Binger's response was, if you didn't want to kill anyone, why did you bring a loaded gun to the situation? Okay. And so yeah. for some reason, that logic mysteriously oh, doesn't you're apply. Right. You're right. To, to gauge for some reason. You're right. You're right. Yep. It's the exact same thing. Yep. Oh, my God. This is fucking insanity. There are people out there that can make that decision and make it casually. Um, but a lot of people can't. And clearly we know which side he's on. Look, he's uh, Gage is the oh good guy. God. We know what yeah, side Gage is he's one of the good guys. Yeah, the robber, twice DUIs. He's one of the good yeah. ones, Soon as opposed to the guy who's million. cleaning up the the one who's the one who's cleaning up the the graffiti that Kyle made the night the <laughs> night before. I heard the, Gage, the, the, Gage Street, made the night before. I heard Gage drove an hour to get to here, twice yeah. as long as Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah, but he didn't right. cross and state course, lines. Yeah, true. as long as you don't cross state lines, you know. You, as a prosecutor, you represent us, the people, and your job is to get the facts out there um, the best you can. Um, you're in the, the truth finding business. And I know this is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually a comedy show. You're seeing the comedy portion of the show right here. We're oh witnessing it take place in front of us. These Thomas truth Bingham. seekers. Great. The people's DA, the truth yeah. seeker, blind sure. justice. Team truth right here. God. Yeah. Give me a fucking break. And uh, your job is to get the, the facts out the best you can and present your case. And it's and it's up to the jury to make that determination. Uh, you've decided here not to appeal. There's not going to be an appeal of this or is it's not possible. So oh I'm a not God. guilty verdict. The state has no right to an appeal. Oh, my God. How, how, this is a lawyer oh asking my him God. this question? Yeah, I was just saying, oh Joe. Oh, my God. Joe. This is the president of the New York Bar. Oh, my God. Asking this question. This Joe, is please. embarrassing to all New York lawyers everywhere. <laughs> Joe, Joe, please tell me oh that I have not asked any question as embarrassing as that. Like, nothing what the close. fuck? Yeah, nothing, nothing. Oh, my God. No. What no, the wow. fuck? Wow. Dude, you can oh watch. Oh, my God. He could have watched God. five minutes of Rikada and knew the answer to that one. What the <laughs> fuck is this guy doing? How is he an attorney? Appeal, Appeal a jury finding. Wow. Have Does he you not heard, understand have, how the appellate court works when you don't appeal the finding of a of the finding of fact? Know. You're appealing on law. It, right. This is so tough. And and yeah, when it comes to defense, when a, a criminal defense, you can't appeal that. What? That's like this, basic. That's crazy. Wow. Why can't have you this, seen the movie listen, Double why Jeopardy? Can't the, <laughs> Why can't the government appeal a murder, a not guilty yes. murder verdict? Okay. Are you going to bring him up on other charges, Binger, Jeez. once you're done with it? <laughs> can't we get him on can something we try else? Murder? Can, we, can we try him for murder again? Can yeah. we try again? Maybe we'll get a better jury this time. No, that's called <laughs> double jeopardy. Oh. Can we do? Oh, oh, we're not allowed to do that? Oh, okay. Wait, we tried him in one state, and he did cross <laughs> state lines. Can he we try him Illinois. in the other state? Can we charge state? him in Illinois? Yeah, let's charge right. him in Illinois. Let's him in Illinois. Because he yeah. lives in Illinois, so maybe we can charge him there. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, you know, he did cross state lines, so let's let's put it to federal court, okay? He'll be a federal like it. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> they, 